so much snow though. The snow is completely gone. I was here uh, I was here uh, two or three days ago. So I'm really sorry because I want you to see how it how it is to look here. It should go lower. Yeah.
How magical is this? Yeah, it's nice. The fire. Yeah. yeah. It's absolutely the fire. something special. Primeval. Latin American and it's a tune 432 hertz which is the first uh, sound.
most people don't know how to make a fire. That should be something that you learn at school. Hmm. Hello. Hi Bjorn. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi and uh, welcome to another video here. You probably saw already the setup that we we had last night. It was uh, it was really beautiful, very cozy. Absolutely. We had um, two tarps in front of each other with the fire in the middle, and um, and from there we we really felt the heat from uh, irradiating from from the fire, and then it was perfect through the whole evening mm. until we we went to bed and we just let the fire uh, die through the night. Yeah. And uh, and and today was really special. This is the first time that I'm uh, uh, sleeping with the with the. Uh, you have a to fellow to use other words, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, th what I'm trying to say is that uh, it was really nice to wake up this morning with the fire, fire going. And yeah. uh, that's a real, real good plus <laughs> to have. Yeah, because I, I wake up. I wake up early. Um, it's a habit. So I wake up at four normally or five. I woke up at four this morning and uh, at around five... 5.30 I started the fire. Yeah, it was pretty early, mm. pretty early. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, probably most of you know and recognize this gentleman next to me already. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you want to introduce yourself. Well, my, my name is Björn Andreas Bull Hansen and I'm, I'm a novelist and um, also a YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... A, uh, I, I get to know Bjorn uh, through his, uh, his video on YouTube and uh, I really uh, resonate with uh, uh, his content. He has uh, different channels. Um, one is about bushcraft, obviously. It's, uh, it's a real Viking. You know, I'm the intruder here in, uh, <laughs> in this country. But uh, I really love the, the videos that he made about... Uh, bushcraft and, and Vikings but also mm. like uh, all the thoughts and uh, the depth of uh, the most of his videos on uh, his main channel yeah I've been talking about different stuff uh, as well you know and um, and that's on my main channel along with the, the outdoors videos the bushcraft videos the Viking videos and uh, uh, you know how it is every time I do one of the a video of the in a different kind a different kind of video I'll do a few hundred subscribers you know <laughs> and uh, but that's that's just how it is that's okay I guess yeah yeah, yeah. um I the the intent of this video was uh, supposed to be uh, I mean a fun uh, overnight in in this beautiful forest and I was really looking for uh, this video we, 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 we tried to plan plan it for a few months yep. and in the meantime I had a baby and uh, we had uh, a, a war we had corona with everything uh, yeah in between yeah uh, but uh, as you probably see in uh, in the images uh, now and uh, some of the images that I took yesterday um, something really uh, sad happened uh, do you want to say something beyond about yeah, it? yeah it's just incredibly sad that was old forest now how old i don't know but those big trees were at least a hundred years old and uh, you don't get to see that very often in scandinavia anymore and it was such a magical place now i I've, i'm always looking for locations right so and also i like to you know i like to walk in like the original woodland it's not like original like a thousand years old but it's <laughs> it's quite ancient it was quite a ancient and, and there's a special feeling you get in forest like forests like that uh, so i recently had the same so the same happening I, I went there one day in a different location and it was all gone chopped down ruined destroyed um, and then I was devastated and then I I 
how I found this place. Just a few weeks ago, I was so happy. And now it's gone. So I think something's going on like I've never seen such activity in when it comes to logging as I've seen uh, this year. It is quite insane how many trees they are chopping down now. And you know, they, say, they will say, well, well, we are planting new trees, yeah. We are surrounded by new trees. This little tree here was not planted. It's a natural growth here in the forest, uh, which is nice. Uh, for nature, this tree here does not have the same effect as this tree for obvious reasons. So, environmentally speaking, it's a disaster as well, you know. Deforestation is a big problem in, in, in the world and most people, I think, they, they believe it's something happening in, in South America. It's happening right here. Yeah. It's a big problem. The intention of this channel, uh, and I believe the same uh, uh, goes for Bjorn, is to obviously enjoy the nature being outside uh, but uh, uh, to involve you also that are watching to to do the same because you will never understand uh, what does it feel to be in nature if you're not in nature if you don't spend a night out in nature if you don't feel the cold if you don't feel the warmth of the sun in the morning uh, touching the ground let's try to to live with a with a positive message, also because of uh, what's going on now with the uh, with war, what happened with COVID, you know, people are stressed, mm. demotivated, scared, or like. Uh, uh, I I like to to see positive things in. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should should always do that. Well, nature is here, yeah. you know, it's not going anywhere, it's changing. Um, and um, yeah, it will be here when humans are gone. <laughs> Nature will still be here, but um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. It's um, it's diff th these are difficult times, but uh, also I think w we are pri privileged in in this part of the world up here, uh, and, um, and we can still go out and en enjoy nature. Um, we should and I it's becoming more and more important and I, I think you can't really and this is my opinion my honest opinion you can't really understand the world if you're not spending time out in nature and it's hard to explain but if you just spend your time in a box going from one box to the other box looking at boxes and squares and that's your life uh, it is sadly the life out of necessity for many people but you um, you won't get to understand truly understand the world if that is your life so we we need to get away from that as much as possible yeah it's not easy in this period especially for new generations because there is a disconnection uh, between mm. man and nature yeah uh, with the devices with the new metaverse and uh, all that uh, kind of thing so te technology is is good like in, in this case i mean we are well, using, using a camera <laughs> we're yeah. using camera we are yeah. using youtube but uh, it can uh, it can be tricky and uh, and dangerous especially for generations that are coming directly into that mm. uh, we are lucky enough that you know because we, we were born when uh, there was no phone or like uh, computers or mm. anything like that so but I understand that, that it's difficult for new generations to to deal with this world so yes it's so. been a very uh, se selfish thoughts uh, from people that don't really care about the, the future, you know, most of the politicians that don't really care about n f future generations, they want everything now in this life. Well, but we we used to have uh, a prime minister in Norway, 
who and I who, who I can quote her on something that she said. She said there isn't really a difference between a fish and a potato. Well, if I didn't get the words exactly right, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but it was a fish and a potato. Yeah. For her, it's just something that we consume, you know, yeah. and that makes me, you know, angry. Yeah. And there is a value that one could probably put a value on this in, like in money, because these days that's how you measure everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, but you can actually do that on uh, increased uh, quality of life for all the people using the forest for recreation. And that value, I'm willing to bet good money that that's worth a lot more than the timber in, yes. in that forest. Like many times more. Yes. <clears throat> uh, increased health, uh, uh, decreased uh, co costs for the health uh, system and all that. Um, and uh, guys, there is so much more to talk with uh, with Bjorn because uh, uh, there's a lot to talk about. I'm gonna leave the link to his channel somewhere around here and in the description. Uh, Bjorn, thank you so much for uh, taking me out out here. Thank Please. you for joining me here. Really sorry about that thing they did there but you don't have to we be. found a good spot here uh, with uh, some beautiful scenery around here you know? yeah so thanks for joining me <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> thanks a lot again guys and um, I'll see you in the next video <laughs>